I love mentioning this to people. The North Pole is moving. They go, wait, what? No. Well, we've got the North Pole and the South Pole. And it's not like the North Pole is going to become the South Pole yet. I mean, it has happened before. But we've got the magnetic and the geographic pole. So that's going to be two very different things. Plus, in honor of Black History Month, I'm going to talk about who really discovered the North Pole. First, let's get to that magnetic versus the geographic North Pole. Geographic is always going to be the same, due north. But the magnetic pole can move. And here's the reason why. Why? We've got Earth's inner core, which is solid, but then around it is this liquid metal. And so it's always moving. And so with those shifts, it can tend to move that magnetic pole ever so slightly. So things like GPS and compasses will have to be recalibrated. And things that might be affected is something like the Alaska Northern Lights, which is dominated by the magnetic field. So if that starts to shift, may see a little bit less of that. Now on to who discovered the North Pole? Well, there's controversy on all sorts of spectrums, but one of which is between Robert Perry or Matthew Henson. They were together explorers, Robert Perry the white navigator and Matthew Henson the black one in honor of Black History Month thought I'd bring that to your attention one of the two may have been the first in 1909